Welcome back viewers and thank you for joining me today as we learn about installing PowerShell Core on Fedora 32. I have recently switched to running Fedora and I need to get the tools that I use installed. I typically install PowerShell using the Snap package which is great if you're on an Ubuntu based system because Snap is already installed and enabled. Um, it's not here on Fedora, it can be, but I've decided to start leveraging the .NET Core Global Tool Installation method. This will require that you have the .NET SDK installed, which you can check out my previous video called Install .NET Core on Fedora 32 to find out how to do that. And then once you have the .NET SDK installed, you can install PowerShell Core. Now, Microsoft has started collecting telemetry um, on many of their projects, and I understand why they do that. This is not a, you know, anti-telemetry uh, statement, but I'm going to show you how to opt out on that. And so we can do that by exporting out an environment variable called PowerShell telemetry opt out. Set that equal to one, and this should opt out of telemetry for this terminal session here. If you want to make that more permanent, you can add that to your bash RC or to your profile. So the next time you log in, it'll automatically get added. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to echo that out and we're going to save that to our doc profile. So now the next time I log in, the telemetry will be disabled. Now we can install PowerShell. Let's clear out our terminal here so it's easier to see. So that's as simple as once the .NET Core SDK is installed, is .NET tool install dash dash global PowerShell. And what this is going to do is this is going to fetch the PowerShell global .NET tool. This will install it in your local user directory, so global for you. Um, not global for every user on your system, right? And then here it gives you a little output that it's added it to my bash profile already to set up my .NET tools. Um, but I can also add that here in my session. So I doubt PWSH is going to work because I haven't added this path. So what we can do is we can just copy this and then we can paste it into our session here. And then we can type PWSH and we are now inside of PowerShell. And now we can print our PowerShell version. And you can see here that we have the latest PowerShell available, PowerShell 7. We're running on Linux. And that's it. Uh, we now have a working PowerShell installation. If you have any questions, please leave something in the comment or find me on Twitter or um, at phillipsj73, or you can find all my contact information on my website, phillipsj.net. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe. Uh, until next time.